Hey, what's up? This is Jared with State of Tech, and today I'm taking a look at the Soundpeats Bluetooth wireless headphones. Uh, now, I've been on a thing with wireless headphones over the last year, especially as these wireless device manufacturers have been removing headphone jacks. I've been looking for fantastic headphones that give good audio quality, but don't end up costing a fortune, and that's been a little challenging to find. So I ended up looking at these because the reviews were just outstanding. You can't always really rely on the reviews because a lot of these companies send things out to people for free and so people feel obligated to make good reviews. I bought these with my own money off of Amazon and so I wanted to uh, review them and talk about what you get for the cost because they are a little cheap and so it would make you think hmm are they really that good? Uh, they looked good in the photos and so I wanted to get my hands on them and spend some time with them. So they are a Bluetooth wired headset uh, so there's a wire going between the two um, I found that it's really hard to find good quality earbuds, like Bluetooth earbuds that, that just produce fantastic audio without them having a wire connecting between the two. There are some out there, but typically they're pretty expensive. So they come with these little uh, ear wisps, I think is what they're called or whatnot, that, that go up in your ear to kind of hold these in a little bit better. Uh, in the box, it comes with some, some different nibs. So that way, if you have bigger ear holes or whatever, apparently my wife says I have big ear holes. So I need to put in the larger ones so that they fit nice and, and snug. Uh, so let's take a look at what's in the box. I mean, obviously it came with... Um, the headphones themselves. There's a quick start guide. There's a little um, a little package here that is it's magnetic, so it kind of snaps back together. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of it. I definitely will probably find something else. Uh, I mean, it it works, but I just I don't really like it too much. Um, underneath here is uh, a, a clip like a in case you want to clip it on the back of your shirt because this wire can kind of get snagged especially if you're a person with a big neck like me uh, you may want to clip that on the back of your shirt just so that it doesn't get over to one side and then uh, you end up tugging it out of your ear it also comes with different i think i'm calling them by the right name wisps uh, that go up in your ear and it also comes with different size nibs for small ears all the way up to larger ears these ones are the medium ones uh, it comes with a charging cable. It charges with a uh, USB to micro USB connection. And then there are a couple of little, uh, you know, manuals and whatnot, guarantee and all that good stuff in here. Uh, these are things that I don't really need because I have just many of, uh, of those cables. And so I don't need more of those cables laying around. I've got plenty of them. So I'll just leave that in the box. So this little... Uh, this little device here in the middle, this is what you use to turn them on, to pair them to a different device, to charge them. There's a little door here you just pop off and then you can uh, plug in that USB charger to charge them up. There's eight hours of battery life, which is amazing. I mean, eight hours is a long time to uh, be listening to music. So, I mean, you're going to get even better battery life out of them if you're listening to something, you know, uh, that isn't so intense like music, like maybe audiobooks or whatnot. Um, very simple to get them going in the first place. You've got uh, your, your kind of up and down volume, your play um, is in the middle. To pair these initially, you're going to need to turn them on by holding down the play button until you see this flash red and blue. When you turn them on, for me, it didn't go directly into pairing mode. So press and hold the center button uh, when you power it on. Hold it until you start to see that flashing red and blue, and then it's going to go ahead and pair them. So to turn them on, you just simply press and hold that button, and uh, they will power up. And um, I found that you really have to kind of hold the button there for a couple of seconds. There we go. And it'll start flashing blue until it's connected. And, uh, and then it should be ready to go. Let me make sure here that it is. Yep, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in my ears. Very simply, just throw it behind your neck. And I just kind of give them a little twist. And they fit in nicely. Uh, they go in really well. I mean, the little nibs that were on them already fit me well. Uh, they seal really well. So actually like talking when they're in my ears like this <laughs> feels a little weird because they seal really well in my ears. So I'm going to go ahead. When you turn them on, pretty much 
every time your volume is going to be set to medium. It doesn't seem to remember where your volume let off, which is fine. For me, I'm constantly like trying to be aware of my environment. I don't like to be blasting loud music. I like to listen to music loud, but I don't like to blast loud music around other people because I'm often listening to like metal or something like that. It's really loud and it just sounds like static and screaming to people that are nearby. So I like headphones that don't project a lot of noise when I'm listening, which means that it isolates the sound really well, uh, pushes that sound into me, that's where I want it, and doesn't noise pollute in the area that I'm around. So I have a, um, a decibel meter and one of the things that I do when I test any headphones is use the decibel meter with loud music to see what kind of noise pollution I am producing because of them. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in my ears. We're going to power on our decibel meter here and I'm going to get a room reading. So this is just an ambient room reading right now. I'm going to be quiet and we're going to see what this is at. Okay, so we're looking at 46 as the ambient. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on some music. I'm going to point it at my ear and see what we get. So ambient was 46. 48.4 is what we got. And that's pretty close. I held this right here. I let it go for a couple of seconds. The music is super loud in my ear and 48.4. So there's little to no noise pollution at all. I mean, that's one of the things that I think is most important about these headphones. Yes, they are creating a tight seal around your ears, meaning there's really no room for the noise to escape. But for me, this is a super important selling factor for me is that there is not a lot of noise pollution. I could listen to music loud. I'm not annoying everybody around me. I am often in an airport or uh, somewhere where there's a lot of people sitting around me and I want to listen to music. I want to listen to it the way that I enjoy it, which is relatively loud. I don't need to be murdering my eardrums, but I do want to listen to it and actually feel the music. And I just can't do that with headphones that are extremely loud. Apple AirPods, for example, lots of noise pollution. There are lots of headphones that, you know, People can hear what you're listening to, even if they're, you know, 20, 25 feet away from you. Uh, with these, they're not going to hear anything. Uh, they might, might not even think you're listening to anything because they do such a good job of isolating the sound around you. So now let's talk about sound quality. Now, sound quality is also really important to me. Um, I like headphones that are, I'm just going to turn this off. I like headphones that... Uh, that produce good quality audio. I don't need them to be so super bassy. I do want good bass. I want good mids and good highs. Um, I found that these produce uh, just as good of audio as Apple earbuds. They might be a little bit lacking in the highs as far as the clarity of the highs. Um, so like, for example, I'm listening to rock music and stuff like that. There's lots of like cymbals. Those are like really high frequency noises that typically would come through and they, and they sound good here. They're just a little muted compared to what I'm used to. Uh, so for example, maybe if you're listening to classical music or something like that, those highs aren't going to be quite as crisp as they would be with some more expensive headphones. But considering the price, you just can't go wrong. I would use these primarily, I think, at the gym. And so, you know, I, I would use them at the gym because I would sweat and, you know, maybe I'm out running and I'm afraid that if they fall off or something, I just don't want expensive headphones to get damaged. Um, and so with these, the audio quality is more than perfect for any of those scenarios. Um, they hold into my ears really well. I'm not worried about these falling out. They go in really quickly just by simply pushing them in and giving them a twist. And I don't have to worry about them. I could shake my head. I can move around. I could even kind of give them a little bit of a tug and they're staying. They haven't even like came loose at all or even slightly started to fall out of my ears. Um, these are something I would feel really secure about. So, I mean, you know, you've got the, uh, <laughs> the simplicity of the design. You've got eight hour battery life. You've got, uh, you know, the, I guess they're wing tips. That's what they're called. Um, you know, wing tips is what they're being called. The little, the little things that go into your ears. Um, I don't know. I've heard them called many different things. Uh, the design is pretty good. You know, if you look at the design, they're, they're, they're not obnoxious 
obnoxious looking. Um, they're pretty solid. You know, I'm, I'm not afraid of these breaking uh, or even being in my bag. They're going to last for a while. The only point of concern is maybe this little connection unit here. Uh, it has a headphone uh, right, or it has a microphone right here. So that way you can use it to answer calls. Uh, I have tested that and the call quality was really good. The only thing that's a little weird to me, and this is probably just a personal preference, is making calls with uh, earbuds in your ears that are sealed really well. The call just feels a little too intense, but nonetheless, these headphones uh, do a fantastic job. So I would more than definitely recommend them for the price. I think there are a lot of headphones out there. There are a lot of inexpensive ones. There are a lot of expensive ones. For the price, you really can't beat these. And that goes to say um, that it's very consistent with even looking at the reviews that were on Amazon. So I've got a link in the description below, uh, you know, so you can click on that and go directly to Amazon to check these out. I think that they are well worth the price. I think they're gonna last me a long time. And they're definitely, uh, as far as like the length of the cord and everything like that, this is something that will last me a while and that it's very comfortable to wear. Even if I have a jacket on or something, um, you know, they're, they're just comfortable and that's really important. So definitely check out the link in the description below in the comment section. I'd love to know your thoughts. Have you tried these? Uh, what are your concerns? Maybe you have a question about them that I can try and answer for you or even I'd like to hear your own opinion. So share that in the comment section. With that said, click on that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of new videos, click on the little bell. And I hope that we get to see you back here soon on State of Tech. Thanks.